Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. I, uh, a little bit late because I was catching up on the City Liverpool game. I had a Sunday league game this morning. And, uh, yeah, it was a crazy match. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the match. I have not been on FIFA today, so I don't know what we got. Giving you guys the content video, like always, kind of going through it, uh, understanding it. We probably will have another video tonight if I can find the energy to get it out. Uh, I had an idea that I wanted to make a video on, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys are doing well, more importantly. Hope everybody who's watching my videos is, is maybe not thriving, but just, you know, doing well and, and good enough, right? That That's what matters. Now, uh, today is usually a large day of content. Uh, Sundays are, are really... Oh, we got... Okay, three new players for four days. So we've got a new, like, hero card. Now, I... Last night, before I went to sleep, I saw Di Natale at 2-4. So I picked him up to try out. Uh, he's down again. I think he was 2-7 when I woke up. But usually the top tier guys are rising Monday. So I think he's not going to go lower than this price. Maybe he will go lower tonight. But I doubt it. I think I got a really good price. And then <clears throat> I picked up a lot of Dubois. For like 33 34 I think he's up a little now. I just felt like that price was really low. Um, but I didn't get that many. So that's what I've been doing trading-wise. Let's check out some of these new cards. And more importantly, let's check out SBCs, first of all. So we need to get this Joao Felix done. Uh, we need to talk about Fernandinho as well. Because I did not post a video on the Conti yesterday. So we'll kind of go through that. But we've got a Jermaine Defoe, end of an era. Which is only one squad, which is nice. Um, high low 4-4 four, four. he's probably got lean body type his passing is not really great um, I'm gonna start being a little bit more uh, strong with my critiques of players I think for this time of the year 80 passing is trash um, I play on PS5 right so the passing is very important the passing just generally in this game is very bad and you might say Nick well isn't 80 passing good in previous FIFA's it absolutely was this year if you have anything less now than at this point in the game like 85 it's really hard to use an attacker with less than 85 passing. But what I will say is that his jumping and heading is very good. He's very small. His reactions, his dribbling is outstanding. I love his shooting. I love his finishing. I love his shot power. I love his attack position. I love his dribbling. So with those traits as well, finesse flare outside foot and 4-4, four, four, I think if it's less than like, if it's around 50K, I, I think it's a good price. I think at this time, yeah, 85. So that's probably like 60, 65K, not too difficult to craft. So I like that. I think that's a good SBC. I like an end of an era. I think this promo is really cool. I think it's been able uh, to let EA kind of release a couple different cards. Guys, yesterday, Schweinsteiger dropped. And let me tell you something. He's incredible. He's really, really good in games. So um, I know he's a little bit more expensive on the SBC uh, price point than the market. But he's incredible. I tried him yesterday. I loved him. So I'll be crafting him. Looks like we got Raul today as well. And he on the mar he's got 99 finishing and 99 attack finishing, which is awesome. Um, I did use him. He didn't feel like he had superpowers. I think the shot power probably let him down a little bit, but he's got phenomenal traits. Um, in terms of what they require, so they did not require the 88, which means that he'll probably be a bit cheaper um, than Schwein. He's about 615K. So nice to see EA releasing uh, some icon moments finally. Um, took these guys forever, I swear. They just like had not been dropping them. Got that daily 81 plus again. And then obviously, you know, you, you've got the ability if you want to go do objectives. Uh, you can go through and do the... I've been slacking. I have not done the Captain's Cup. I need to get on my grind with that because I've been absolutely slacking with that. But we've got three mini-release players as well that are going to be on the market now. And I want to take a look at them because Koke looks interesting um, as a 91-rated center mid. I actually bought Pedri yesterday to try out. So typical of my luck. Um, but I'm assuming he'll be pretty expensive. So he's got bids at 200k. Yeah, he's got incredible stats. Now, three-star skills, medium-medium is not great. Um, but he has good stats all around. I, again, I, I, you know, I think if a mid is not 4-4 now, I think you had a couple exceptions with icons. It's a little bit harder to use. I hate to be that guy, but looks good. Will probably be quite affordable. Um, and the links are great, right? Links to Griezmann, Felix. Probably why he got released is because Felix just came out, is if I had a guess. Which, by the way, is incredible value. Um, we need to get him done and try him out. Um, okay, so we've got also Cooper. I don't know this player well. Is it Liam Cooper on Leeds, maybe? Okay, I don't know this guy well. I don't really watch Leeds, um, but it's a nice card. This reminds me of a community team of the season card. I don't know. For me, this just looks like a team of the season card. This looks exactly like, you know, one of those uh, earlier on team of the seasons and they get a card and this is what it is. I don't know. Just, <laughs> I don't know why I get that memory, but very cheap and uh, nice links as well. Premier League. And then let's take a look at Mario Gomez because, you know, is this guy on the level of, of Lam or Schweinsteiger for me of players that I loved as a child? No, but I did really like this guy. 
And I hope he's affordable. I mean, look, his 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 other card was horrible. I couldn't use him. Um, so he's already down under a mil by 847k. He's 4-4. Four, four. So he's 4-4 four, four high medium. But man, that is some incredible shooting. So he looks a lot like Team of the Year Lewandowski. Uh, Mario Gomez was named captain of Wolfsburg ahead of the 2017-18 season. And the role was not unfamiliar to him. Gomez had worn... The armband several times during the previous season, including uh, for the league fixture away to Frankfurt. He led the line expertly uh, through, and his smart pass set up the opening goal. The win was sealed in the second half when Gomez positioned himself well and swept home from close range with his left foot. 31 goals in 78 games for Germany. Uh, 113 games and 174 for Bayern. Wow. What a legacy, guys. What a legacy. Um, power header trait, really, really good stats, though. Man, this... You know, I, I think, let, let me see how this card looks if I if I put him next to Team of the Year Lewandowski. I mean, for a direct comparison, uh, he looks quite similar. If I were to give you guys, uh, you know, a player that I felt like he looked really similar to. And it would totally be Team of the Year Lewandowski. Check this out, right? I mean, pace-wise, and, and the thing is, right, a lot less in-games. So, a little bit slower. Um, but if you look at the shot power and the finishing and the positioning, it's so similar. Long shot's a lot less, too. Volleys, I, he has 97 volleys, which is incredible. Um, Passing-wise, he's actually got a little bit better. He's got three more agility than Lewa, but less balance, which is going to make him clunky, clunkier. Um, you know, defending doesn't really matter. And then strength. What's his strength? 95. Lewa's got 99 strength. Crazy. Um, but really good card. Really good card. And I think a lot more usable for anybody that wants to use Mario Gomez. I think this card looks super usable. I mean, downside's obviously going to be 6'2", um, 84 balance, right? That's the main downsides, but... I think engine would definitely be the move if you wanted to use him. I think you don't even need to touch that shooting. It's already incredible. I think maybe a couple more traits would have been nice. If they added a few more traits on this card, that would have been, you know, a nice thing to get. But you definitely can't have everything, right? You can't have everything. So for me today, you know, these for me, guys, these these uh, these icon SBCs, right? This is going to be down to uh, does this player, you know, help your club? I think so far the most impactful one is going to be Schweinsteiger. I think he's the best card they've released. In the last three days um i'm not really keeping up with the leaks so i don't know I, I i'm assuming we're going by this trend of there's going to be one every day so if you guys are one of those people that you know you you don't know which one you want to get what i will say the beauty of it they're available for 90 days that is amazing that is amazing guys because what because they're available for 90 days that means during team of the season um you know 90 days from now guys is uh may june july right so you're going to have a lot of time to potentially craft these players. You know, potentially we get those crazy upgrades out towards the end of the year. Um, 85, 10, all that type of stuff, right? And, you know, that's going to really allow a lot of you guys to be able to get these cards with extra duplicates and, and fodder. So I like this approach a lot from EA, um, leaving them for 90 days. Because there's been many times where EA have just, you know, kind of come out and said, hey, we're going to give you 30 days. And it's no fun when they only give you 30 days. So for me... Uh, I think it's a huge win. Now, let me go on Flippin as well. Kind of check out what else is trending on here. I do want to do that 81 plus just for the video. So in terms of popularity, uh, same old, same old. I wanted to talk today about uh, not only this promo team prices, cards, all that, but also Fernandinho. Um, it does look like a really good card. I just, you know, for me, it, it actually looks exactly like his team of the season. Uh, I know it's so, a lot. this promo is like really weird. It's so similar to team of the season, but... It's actually a lot better than his team of the season. And Fernandino's team of the season is usually like 200K. And that was with less pace. BP19 with 80 pace. He had, what, he's 450K. So if you actually think about the price of this, it's actually not that bad. Um, the issue that I have is that I worry that, like, Conte is going to be better. Now, here's why this card could actually be better than Conte, right? He's got the four-star weak foot. He's got the medium high. His passing is much better than Conte. 92 short passing, 90, 90 long, 83 vision. He has 88 acceleration, which I always say acceleration is more important than sprint speed uh for anybody i think it's more important this year and uh dribbling stats are incredible 97 reactions 88 strength and 97 aggression so it's very important to see he has 96 defensive awareness and he has 97 aggression which to me tells me that he's going to be an absolute warrior he's going to play for the badge um he's going to be everything that you want out of your center mid so i'm not a person that's going to sit here and say that this is not a good sbc because when i take a look at this player this is a great player to add into your club now then you get to that other, you know, story where, you know, does this player make sense for your team? That's where you have to figure it out, guys, because, you know, he'll probably be one of the bre the better Prem CDMs uh, for, for a lot of the year, I would say. Uh, if we went to go look at, and, and even potentially Brazil, I mean, I'd still, I would prefer a player like Paqueta, guys, 
um, because I like a player that can defend and go forward. But most people who play this game want a pure DM, right? So if we think about pure DMs, he's very comparable to many of these cards. He really is, man. And and I think Conti Team of the Year is always going to be the top. But, you know, after that, there's definitely a, an open an open thing. I still think De Bruyne is probably up there. I think, you know, Jorginho, you can't really go wrong with Team of the Years. But he's probably close to next up. Um, you know, I think him and Foot Birthday Allen are probably in that next tier. I think Foot Birthday Allen's a little bit more interesting if you want a player that can go forward a little bit better. Um, I think Fernandinho is, is really a pure uh, defensive mid um, for your club. So... I think if you're interested in that card, you do have to make that decision. I think Felix, I, I spoke about it. I think this is a great SBC. Um, you know, whether or not you use him, uh, you know, that's on you. I'm going to try him out. So if you guys are interested, we will have a video on the second channel going up. Um, but, I mean, look, man, I, I think that card actually does look really good. I need to make sure this is uh, doing untradeables here um, because I'm 100% going to put in somebody that's uh, worth way too many coins. So let's do untradeable, uh, silver, high to low. And, uh, yeah, man, so I think tomorrow we're going to be getting upgrade SBCs, guys. So that will be very interesting. And, listen, last kind of thing that I wanted to talk about on the video that I thought was important. I am going ham on upgrade packs this week. I'm going to do so many upgrade packs this week and next week, and here is why. I think that this promo, okay, with Di Natale in packs and some of these icon hero cards, right? I look at them as, like, icon moments. I think because you can actually get those out of these packs... Uh, you can you can get these cards, guys. These are in they they're not they're not like icons where they're out of packs. They're in these packs, and because you can get them out of these packs because they're in quote team one, I'm going ham to try to get one of these guys, Freddie Gomez, Di Natale. Because for me, you're acquiring a legacy. Nah, for real though, I, I think it's so sick if you can actually get one of those cards. Uh, and because they they have the opportunity to be packed, I think it makes them super interesting to me. So. I am definitely going to go ham when we get the upgrades this week. And I'm going to try my best to uh, pretty much just stock my club like like entirely, guys. I'm going to try my best to just stock my club with uh, non rares and rares today and just start getting those in the club. I don't know what the upgrade pack we're going to get is, um, but I do believe that I do believe that it will be something tomorrow. We, we haven't had a lot recently. I think last week we had the 75 times 5 um, that they kind of released, or that might have even been two weeks ago. Um, and then tomorrow we'll, we'll most likely get the upgrades which i think is a huge deal so watch out for that um in terms of market pretty much pretty much the same man um team of the week is holding i think this team is going down i kind of wanted to speak about this look guys i think after today this team is going up okay this today is the last supply that we're gonna have of this team so i think after today we're gonna see this team increase in price i truly believe this um so i think if you want any of these cards today watch out Look for a price because I think I think after today they're going up. Now there might be a little bit of an exception to the newer cards like Gomez and Koke. They they might take another day, but I think with the majority of the guys that have been in packs for a couple of days, they've probably hit their sweet spot. We're we're seeing Sunday night into Monday, uh, usually is a rise because people get rewards and people open these. Now whether or not we get icon content tomorrow, that could impact the prices of these players. It definitely could. Um, I don't think we'll get anything crazy. I mean, look, they've been dropping icon content on Saturday. And I think that maybe potentially this week EA is going to take a week off of the quote icon packs and just kind of go with the uh, and just go with the uh, daily moments of species. I mean, if they go with the icon, I, I mean, I think that EA is doing their best to try to take some coins off the market. So I think if they end up dropping the icon moments pack, it kind of takes away from the purpose of like EA is trying to get everybody to go through and do all these individual icon SBCs. So that, that would be a little bit confusing for me if they did kind of end up doing that. I would find that bizarre. But... You know, EA is going to do EA. What the hell do we even know? Um, but that's it today, guys. That's all we got for the video. We're probably going to have another video later. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace.